Robbie Fenter, Chief Executive of Altron, joins us now in studio to discuss what Nelson Mandela's death means for the country. Robbie, I'm sure you woke up like many South Africans, uh, not necessarily in shock, but uh, you, you can never prepare for death, even no matter how well you know that the person is sickly and, and how old they are, but uh, it's not something that we can never prepare for. Yeah, I think the, the big difficulty is dealing with the, and I think most of South Africa is dealing with the same thing, is the, the juxtaposition of emotions mm -hmm. between mourning and celebration and, and being on opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, it's difficult to, to deal with that, uh, those, those emotions living and standing uh, side by side. But yes, um, I think no matter how, how much you're prepared and how much you know that uh, the day is coming, um, when it comes, it's, uh, it's always uh, a time for great reflection and I think celebration rather than mourning. Mm. You've managed to pioneer uh, Altron as a company together with your family and I'm sure maybe Nelson Mandela's uh, changes that he's brought about in the political sphere have had a positive impact on the developments you've seen there. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, our family and, and through our founder, Dr. Bill Fenter, we, we've been absolutely privileged um, and, and, and me as, as, as my father's son, um, to have contact and have had a, a, a friendship that uh, endured over the years and it, it was it was really um, a, a turning point in, in, in my life certainly mm. uh, you know having lived in the US studied in the US working in the US and politically things were just starting to look a little different in South Africa and like Gary was talking about a bit earlier I came back in 1990 after 13 years in the in the US and I was also coming back for a year or two and going to move on and uh, you know here we are today and a lot of that is 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 attributable to to him and uh, you know you remember the humility and you remember his love for children my father served on his uh, Nelson Mandela Children's Fund and uh, you see him interact in opportunities where um, the politician isn't there. It's just the, it's the, the humility of the individual and the tolerance that he was able to really portray. And uh, in a small way, we were, as a company, as a family, be able to do a few things in terms of some of the schools in Kunu, um, the Brom Fisher Library, and wow. uh, where, the, where the, a lot of the Ravonia trial defense papers were we rested, uh, we, we, we helped through the family and the company to, to renovate that in, uh, I think, 1994. And I know Personally, for my father, one of his most treasured moments um, was the opportunity to have through some of those interactions and others. Um, and and Madiba was great at, at, at this nation building of pulling the business community together into what we all had to together build for a nation and, uh, and did a, a wonderful job. And I, I still know one of my, my father's most treasured, treasured um, uh, possessions today is that um, the humility of Madiba comes through. So we, we, we did some, some good work at the Brom Fisher Library and uh, he obviously was very thankful for that, but he, he, he reciprocated by giving my father a, uh, a handwritten bound copy hmm. of all of his notes that he made um, in his defense at, at the Ravonia trial. And even some of the most famous of, of quotes uh, that the world uh, has now revered, he, he, he gave, my, he gave our, our family the opportunity to see how his mind was thinking at that point in time and to make small adjustments and, and handwritten adjustments um, to, to portray the message that he, he was really facing. And, and it just shows the humility of the man not to mm. just move on. It's always a, a thank you that's there. And that's a beautiful piece of history that you have amongst your family. But if you could maybe share a personal story uh, regarding your interactions with him or your father's interactions with, with, with Dada Madiba, what, what were some of the key highlights that came through? I, I remember so many, but uh, I, I think two stand out. Um, the, the, the first was uh, when we um, uh, rebuilt two of the schools in Kunu. Um, it must have been about 1992 or so. And we went down to open those schools with Madiba and many other um, politicians were there at the same time. And the humility of, 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 of landing um, in the then Trans sky and, 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 and driving to the schools and just seeing the, the absolute adulation that, that he was held in, um, it was a very humiliating experience. And, and the way he dealt with that, um, and he, remember he wasn't yet president the country mm. hadn't gone through democracy yet but uh, we, were, we, were, we were privileged to be there at that point in time. I think that was the first, the first time. The second time um, was later, was in 2002 where we were very fortunate enough as a company to um, have him accept an invitation to address our, our top um, thousand um, people um, at, at the Ultron Annual Awards that uh, was held at Vodacom and El Vodaworld in 2002. 
And um, we'd had a number of re re revered speakers over the years. Chris Harney in, in himself was, was one of the talkers. Uh, Eugene Terblanche was one of the talkers. So it wasn't always the politically correct. It was, it was just people that were topical at that, at that point in time. But nobody shook uh, an audience and, and held the audience um, on that day in 2002 when, when he walked up on the stage to, to address. And there was just absolute silence. No, it, it, there was just absolute silence. It was almost couldn't believe that the with people were seeing the man. And then for about 10 minutes, there was absolutely nothing that anybody could, could hear because the, 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 the applause was just so great. And he mm. went on to deliver a fantastic speech. And I think it changed a lot of people. And the business world has a lot to owe uh, uh, to Madiba for creating the environment that, that, that he did from nation building. And, and we hear this from our international partners. We've got many, many, and, and today I've seen and had comment from many of them on the email, you know, uh, offering condolences to the family, which obviously we do as well. And, uh, you know, just remembering him for, for the great things that he did. Sure. Uh, what an amazing story. Well, thank you so much to uh, Robbie Fenter, Chief Executive of Altron.